I feel like there's one guy that we have to start with because it's who I think everybody is going to be running to the waiver wire for this week. And that is Elijah Mitchell. Okie dokie. So Elijah Mitchell basically was like the surprise active back who Shefty was Shefty reported was getting the reps with the second stringers during warmups for the game and like out of nowhere all none of the beat rep- reporters predicted it he's rostered in like 0.7% of all ESPN leagues like the guy is available in your league he's 99% available um plays behind Mostert Mostert goes down is now out for 8 weeks and shocker hold on <sighs> moment of silence for Raheem Mostert's knees <laughs> It's bad, though. It's worse than just like a normal knee injury. And some are yeah. a lot of people think that it could actually potentially harm his career. So I don't I, I, I have no idea what to expect there. Um, Sorry for the joke. But no, it's it's one of those things where he's always getting hurt. And yeah, ripping like cartilage in your knee can't be good um, to come back. And I mean, throw in the fact that it's a Shanahan offense and they're going to be starting a different player pretty much every week. And Are it's they, week two. It's week two. And we're already there. Like this has been every year that he's been an NFL head coach is it's just roulette of running backs. Right. What are the, uh, well, I mean, so then what do you think happens next week? You got, Mo, you got Mostert gone. So we know that yep. much. Uh, Elijah Mitchell played like 60 some odd percent of snaps. Uh, absolutely tore it up more than a hundred rushing yards, had a beautiful touchdown run as well. Um, I mean, I don't think that there's any chance that Trey Sermon comes off the bench to be the starter in week two. I really think that Elijah Mitchell is going to retain that role for, I mean, at least the near future, right? No. <laughs> Uh, sorry, I am not Kyle Shanahan. I don't know the answer to this question. Um, I mean, J- J- Michael Hasty could go off just as well next week as anybody else, right? So, like, I so I, I wrote down here how much are you spending from a dollar or percentage uh, of your fab on him? We we had a Twitter poll posted online that like us like close to 100 people would respond to the last time i looked at and like what was it like 40 percent of people are above 50 percent or below like 10 percent it's <laughs> it's 166 votes and 40 percent of respondents have said that they were planning to spend more than half of their yearly fab budget on elijah mitchell I've That's seen, absolutely insane. I've seen some analysts on fantasy pros say 50 to 60 percent or 60 to 70 percent. And then they said even that might be too low. Matthew Barry says to spend all of it. On I him. did see that, which is also absolutely crazy. It's week two. So, I mean, I think the thing is, it's the best rushing offense. Without a doubt, hands down, it's the best rushing offense in the league. So what do you do with that? Do you want the running back on that offense? Like you do. That's true. If if you had Gus and you like you drafted, you know, the week of and you had Gus, are you going to run out and blow some fab on it? Probably. Um, man, how much are you spending? On, you're not going to do it. You're too conservative. I I like to wait. Uh, I'm not gonna to blow my load in week two. I definitely s- subscribe to the savior sauce mentality where injuries are going to continue to happen, and I want the ammunition to go get somebody later. Um, I understand that I want a 49ers running back, but they also faced a terrible defense uh, in Detroit. Uh, I also understand that at some point. Trey Lance is going to be playing potentially and be taking some of that rushing yardage away or rushing touchdowns away. Uh, Again, 
Jamichael Hasty's still there. Trey Sermon's still there. It's not like they're just not going to use him. Um, so I think it's just a three headed backfield and brings back bad memories of Tevin Coleman and Mostert and whoever else they had two years ago. Like I just don't, or yeah. And, uh, Jarek McKinnon or and Jeff whoever Wilson, else. You, Jeff Wilson jr. Thank you. Like I, there's so many, like they just rotate them through. So I just don't like, I want the running back. I'm not giving up Trace. Like, I wouldn't drop Trey Sermon to bid 75% of my fab budget on Elijah Mitchell. Right? You wouldn't do that. Uh, well, I mean, I don't think that you would have to drop Trey Sermon to pick up Elijah Mitchell. I think a lot of people got a lot of scrubs on the end of their benches that they'd be willing to drop to try to get him. So I'm not That's really. Fine, but Trey Sermon literally went zero, zero, zero. Yeah, that's true. That's true. He did. But I don't know. With Mostert being out for at least the next eight weeks, like Trey Sermon will be active. There's no doubt in my mind he's going to be active next week. He has to be because they're going to pl- they have to start three. So and if he's not, uh oh, yeah, that's that would be ridiculous. But if 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 I am trying, so if you're th- trying to land him, pers- if I would not do this personally, if you're trying to land him again, go with an odd number um, that's not an even number if that makes sense so don't land on the 50 or or 55 or 60 or 65 do 51 or 56 or 61 or 76 um so if if you really want to win him um obviously i think all of it wins him um i think you could say 76 probably wins him um if you really want to try to push it, I don't know if I'd go below 61 just because people are crazy. I, He's 5'10", 200 pounds and ran a 4'3", 840. He's in the 96th percentile of prospects. From a speed perspective? Just a size and speed combo. 5'10", 200 pounds, 4'3", 840, which is in the 96th percentile of prospects. He literally, he dragged, he literally dragged Trey Flowers. I mean, he had total, he had nearly 4,000 yards from scrimmage and 46 touchdowns at University of Louisiana. 46 touchdowns. 76% of my budget is what I would spend to try to win him. I, it's one of the best offenses in the league for running backs, if not the best. It, it is. Um, literally th- uh, for pro football focus, three of their offensive linemen finished with top 10 grades at their position. I just, I want him. I want him so bad. And I'm, I mean, in our league, I'm weak at RB two, and I really, really want him and I have to put a bid in. I don't, I don't know. I know I'm really can, I am considering going a hundred percent. 